Hello, and welcome to part one of my Let's Play of Pokemon Ultra Sun. It is five years ago today that this game first released, and I still haven't played it. I've played Moon um, over on Ebay's Plays Games, and I'm currently a long way into a Pokemon Sun Wonderlock here on Pokebeza. Um, that will be being uploaded every Wednesday from now on if you're wondering where the Wonderlock is today. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a weekly series, Wonderlock Wednesdays from now on until it's either completed or I lose. But I've never played Ultra Sun and I thought the five year anniversary is a good occasion to play. Now, the series is going to be uploaded on Sundays. I know today's not Sunday. But it ain't my fault the anniversary doesn't fall on a Sunday. But we're going to be playing Pokemon Ultra Sundays. So we'll have an episode today. The next episode will be this Sunday. And then it will be weekly thereafter. So you've got a bit of a schedule. We also have a new series coming tomorrow. There's a small matter of some video games being released tomorrow. Um, so there's a new series going to be starting tomorrow as well. But without further ado, let's just jump right into it. And let's begin the game in English. That is the language I speak the best. Fluently would be generous, but I speak it better than any other language. You have a message from the Alola region's own Professor Kukri. Let's go then. There he is. I can bring back the voices because I can keep them consistent on this one. Hey, hang on now, dude. Give me a sec. Hey there. Good afternoon. So, the day has finally come that you're moving to Alola. Alola is a region made up of several islands. That could be the reason that the region is chock full of nothing but rare Pokemon, yeah. But there's no, oh, there's no shortage of cool Pokemon out here in Alola either. Don't know why I read but then. Such mysterious creatures, dude. You find them all over, in the grass, in the caves, in the sky and sea. Here in Alola, we love our Pokemon, and we depend on them heaps too. Some of us even battle with them if we can, if we call ourselves Pokemon trainers. Rockruff, Cutiefly, I'll play with you later, dudes. So cool your jets, man. Alright, I gotta ask you some questions about yourself so I can introduce you to everybody. Which photo should I use for your trainer passport, dude? Um... Doesn't really matter, does it? Let's go this one. You okay you ch with the one you chose, yeah? Yeah. Alright then, I'll let you spell out your name for me. I'll also pronounce it because quite often people don't know how to say my name. Uh, let's use my stylus, shall we? That'll be quicker. Hi everyone, my name is... Oh is Ibeza. That's how that's pronounced, not Ibeza, Ibeza. Remember, the middle syllable is Bay, just like I am. Let's go. So, you go by Ibeza? Yep, sure do. What do you think of the new layout, by the way? Let me know in the uh, comments. I, uh, I made this in about half an hour, and I'm pretty pleased with it, considering. So... Yeah, hopefully I don't get too much uh, abuse over it. <laughs> hopefully other people like it too. 10-4, good buddy. I'll let everybody out here know you're on your way. Ibeza. Oh, there's a picky pack as well. Yeah, that's a name that hits you like a drop kick right to the head. Woo! I was going to give him a Ric Flair woo, but it just doesn't seem to suit him. Can't wait to see you in person, Dan Curzon. Hey, Lola. I guess I, I'm just improvising. See that? See that? That talent I have? <coughs> hey, Beza! Hey, come here! Wait. Do I want to waste that voice? That's a really easy female voice for someone who's not going to be in the thing much. Let's not give our mum a voice. Hey, Beza! We sound like her. It's genetics. Come help me with these boxes. Oh, we were reading about the Eighth of Paradise. Yeah. 
This is all action, all intensity. That's different, right? <clears throat> no, blow me love. Right, I'll get us out of this. Yeah, we can't not have Cosmo Gabby's voice. Boom! There it is. What a pretty screen. Three months later. It'd take us three months to move to Alola. Holy cow. Oh, it took us three months to unpack all our boxes. <laughs> we moved a lot of stuff in. Oh, we unpack boxes really slowly. It's one or the other, isn't it? I'm going to try and resist the urge to complain about how long the start of this game is, because if it's anything like Sun and Moon, it's long. Yes. Yes, Meowth. Indeed. There's Mama Beza with a Cantonian Meowth. Love to see it. Ah, can't you just feel that warmth? The first day spent under Alola's sun. It's so warm and bright here. Wait. So, is it saying three months later from that flashback? Because if this is the first day and you've already shouted me down to help you unpack the boxes, that can't be three months later. So, it must be after the flashback. But that's enough of that. Time to unpack all these boxes. Meowth? Go get a baser for me, would you? Meowth, that's right. I was like half supposed to be a Meowth impersonation, but half not committing to it. Just more of just like a here, have a squeaky voice. Here comes Kato. Meowth! Meowth, cover yourself, Snorlax! <laughs> I was going to say, does he not sleep under the covers, but yeah, it's probably warm. The Poliwhirl rug without the whirly pattern, that's a bit weird. Wake up! Oh, I have I have to actually move my analog stick, I always forget about that. Yeah, first things first, put my hat on. Oh, never mind, not first things first. Guess we'll just wander off out of our room. Didn't even pet the cat. My bad. You were out like a light, weren't you? You ought to be full of energy by now. And just look, it's already daytime here. It's completely the opposite of Kanto. But then we are so far away here in Alola. She's an Avenged Sevenfold fan. Sorry, Beza. Are you excited to meet some Alolan Pokemon? Of course. Of course I am. That's right, I want you to hurry up and meet some too. Oh, I want to hurry up and meet some too. We're living in the Alola region now, the beautiful islands everyone wants to visit. I'm sure the Pokemon living in a place like this must be friendly, right? It might not be a bad idea to go out and see for yourself just how friendly the Pokemon here are. Right, Ibeza? Go and get yourself ready for a bit of exploring. Your bag and hat and things should be hanging on your coat stand in your room. Yeah, I tried to put them on, but it just told me it was a coat rack. And didn't you leave a copy of your copy of Adventure Rules on your desk too? Hint, hint. Guess we're going back in. Okay. Did I have shoes on before? Did I have shoes on in bed? I didn't notice. Someone let me know in the comments. Said. Oh, no, never mind. Now, now you look ready for anything. Except a, a slight downpour. Uh, oh, but even so, Ibiza, I try to be careful walking through the tall grass. Still, I have to admit that I'd love to have a new Pokemon around. Why don't you head up towards Iki Town and see what you discover in Alola? Yeah, why don't you get lost, kid? Right, Meowth. I'm leaving on an adventure. Don't come back. Okay. <laughs> I 
So which way is it? Is it this way? I don't remember the start of the game. Are you kidding me? We're on route one now. Watch it, cuz. It's dangerous to get too close to a Pokemon while it's using one of its moves. Lot of us like, yeah, get lost, kid. I'm not gonna give all the Pokemon lines. It's just a bit. It's just a bit. I guess we're going this way. Oh, she's not gonna stop me. Coolio. Somebody's coming at you from the tall grass. Come at me, bro. What is it? Is it a how? Nope. It's a young goose. Vote for me at the next election. No, right, I'm going to stop now. <laughs> I'm going to stop now. <laughs> oh. News team, assemble! Oh, it's Jim Duggan. Ho! Oh! It's Arlo. Except with red bits instead of white bits. And black block! Yes. Well then. Coward. Imagine running away when confronted. Can't imagine what a Pokemon is based on. Right, um... So, I've just got some Pokemon here and I'm just like, okay. What is happening? Hey there, cousin! Pretty sure I'm not your cousin. Hang on. I know you. You're a basin, right? You okay? I saw you get attacked like that. Yeah, I got a bit of help. Scared spitless. <laughs> That's dangerous to close, Nintendo. A bit edgy there. Looks like you did. Though I sure didn't expect that, yeah. I didn't think these little fellows would dash out on their own to help save a stranger, dude. But I guess I'm getting, getting ahead of myself. Welcome to Alola, the Pokemon paradise. That's what I'm supposed to be saying right now. I'm Kukri, and professor, the Pokemon professor. People and Pokemon live and work together here in Alola too, dude. Don't you ever forget, you can go anywhere, yeah, as long as you've got Pokemon in your corner. Wild Pokemon could be lurking in the tall grass, yeah, just waiting to leap out and bite you. But you'll be fine if you've got a partner of your, of your own. Hey there, here, let me introduce the Pokemon that helped you just now. This is the grass-type Pokemon, Rowlet. Still doing his Jim Duggan impersonation. Ho! Oh! And the fire type Pokemon, Lyrdon. Very nice. Love a Kato. Love a Kato. And the water type Pokemon, Poplio, which we used in Moon, I believe, if I remember correctly. What? You see, the fact of the matter is, one of these Pokemon will become your first partner. Woo! Woo! Yeah, maybe that's why they wanted to save you. Go on and choose the one you'd like to keep as your partner, cousin. Okay. So, why don't you go ahead and choose the one you'd like to keep as your partner, cousin? Didn't you just say that? So, we only used Poplio and Moon. We picked Rowlet in the Sun Wonderlock, but that didn't really count because, you know, obviously we won the trade bit. Um, it's between Rowlet and Litten because I want a different experience. And I did look into like the early game and one the second trial I think Rowlet would be good at. Am I right? I can't remember now what type it was. The first trial is just normal type, so none of these have particularly an advantage, but yeah, we I think we're gonna go Rowlet. Oh yeah we're definitely calling it Jim Duggan as well. Rowlet can fly up on his enemies real quiet like, yeah, and catch him by surprise. So, you want to go with the grass-type Pokemon Rowlet? Yeah, sure do. How can I resist that bow tie? I wish I could have taken... Well, I could have taken Lutton, like, and named it after my cat, but... That's okay. That's okay. Rowlet seems happy. I did. I did. You just noticed this game? I did that like 30 seconds ago. <laughs> yes! So, we're not playing under Nuzlocke rules, so we don't need nicknames per the rules. However... I am going to call this Jim Duggan because it keeps shouting, Ho! Jim Duggan has been added to your party! Ho! 
If you get and appreciate our reference, maybe check out the link to WWE Baser down in the description. You might like what I do over there. So, you went with Rowland. Woo, what a fine looking team you two are. Now, now that you have can have Pokemon battles, you're what we call a Pokemon trainer. Here's a Pokeball for Rowler too. It should feel nice and cozy in there. Cheers, dude. Alright, then let's get going up to Icky Town, Ibeza. Woo! Time to meet the Island Kahuna. Island Kahuna? Truth is, that partner Rowler to yours is a gift from the Kahuna, not me. Let's, so let's go show it off and say a proper thank you, cousin. May not be the only gift you get. In case you hadn't heard, the Kahunas are all crazy strong Pokemon trainers. Be careful about getting into a battle with one. Noted. Eeky Town is right up there. Get Rowland there in that Pokeball I gave you. Damn it, why don't you listen to me, you stupid kid? I said that with like an exclamation mark. I said that with like. Not to me, red impatient. Oh, look! A battle. Who'd have thunk it? Oh, it's Young Goose again. Is it the same one? Jim Duggan's gonna sort you right out, lad. Oh, this bottom screen's kind of fire. Look at that. Oh, I like that. It's so good. Alright, Leafage, darling. Use Lay. It do be living. That is appropriate. Right. Get dead. Nice. Okay. Good stuff. Can't go that way yet. Haha! A Pataian without fight fighting a Pokemon for it. Very nice. I take it you're not a trainer. I feel like we're not into fighting trainers yet. If you happen to pick up a potion anywhere, use it on your Pokemon when it's low on HP. And you'll be feeling better before you know it. If I happen to find a potion anywhere, she was staring straight at that Pokeball with the potion in it. Oh, well, oh here we go. Hey, hey! Which Pokemon are you going to choose as your partner? Have you decided? Oh, hey, oh yeah, I'm Hal. I couldn't wait for us to pick our partners together, so I came to find you myself. <laughs> Too late, scrub. Oh! Whoa, your Rowlet is so cool. Hey, wait, you already picked your Pokemon? Sorry about that, Hal, dude. We had a little accident on the way here, and we had to change my pants. So I ended up letting Ibeza choose his partner first without you, so he wouldn't tell anyone. But now I told you, so there was no point. Fair enough. I guess I was, it was just fate for you guys to meet. But you can cho choose one of these two, huh? Walk? <laughs> then my partner will be Poplio. I choose you. Walk. Hello, our friend. I decided ages ago that you were the one I wanted to have an adventure with. That's lucky that I didn't pick it then, isn't it? We're gonna do so much awesome stuff together. Just you wait and see. <laughs> Professor! You'll take good care of Litton, right? You better believe I will, Hal. Yeah, you better. I'll beat you up, my dude. Alright then, Litton. Everybody, time to get back in your balls for now. Wait up! Me and Poplio have a favour to ask. Be our opponents in our first ever Pokemon battle together. Hell yeah, let's go. Hold on, you two. Before you two step into the ring, let's make sure little Valor is up to it. Yeah, Val looks fine, my dude. But, okay, thanks. Alright! I am seriously gonna enjoy this. However the Giddy Kipper that he is.
Go, Jim Duggan! <laughs> That's never gonna get old, is it? Right. Oh, you're using Water Gun, so you're a special kind of dumb, right? Watch and learn. Bosh! Get leafed. <laughs> hey, don't you be growling! Oh, is, is Leaf Arge a, a physical move? I might not actually kill her. Oh, I do. Okay, cool. Bop! Hell yeah. Oh, first defeat! Sorry, Poplio! And how went on to become that uh, gambler on uh, in Pokemon Red and Blue and Yellow that's like, I have never won. <laughs> That was awesome, Ibeza! You and Rowlet were both so cool! You gotta have the kind of battles where everyone has fun! You and your partner Pokemon too, you know? Right on, Ibeza! You and Hal both brought out the best of your partners and pulled out some spectacular moves, yeah! I don't think Hal did. Hal literally used a rubbish move followed by a pretty much useless move. Icky Town is right up those stairs, dude. Come on, Ibeza! You should totally check out Eek Town. Alright. Let's go check it out then. Awkwardly leave those two behind. It's very nice. It's very nice. I approve. Eek Town. Not because it's all like disgusting. Not that kind of icky. And we're here, dude. This right here is Eek Town. This town is where folks come to worship the Pokemon that watches over Mele Mele Island, dude. Tapu Koko keeps us all safe and happy, see? Looks like the Kahuna's nowhere to be found, though. I guess there must be some trouble somewhere on the island that needs fixing, yeah? Yeah, the Kahuna wandered off without a word to anybody, singing a little ditty or, little ditty or something. I'm gonna go stop by home for a sec. I've got to show my mom, Poplio. <clears throat> Howl's voice is killing my voice. Anyway. Hey, I got an Ibeza for you, idea. <laughs> That's what it says. If you head through the village and up the hill, you can visit the ruins that belong to Tapu Koko. That's our island's garden deity, yeah. Why don't you go and introduce yourself? Go and introduce yourself to God. Just casually. If you're real lucky, maybe you'll actually get a glimpse of the guardian, guardian deity yourself. I'll stick around here and wait to see if the Kahuna comes back, dude. <clears throat> okay. Let's go then. I can already tell I'm going to regret deciding to do voices. <coughs> Excuse me. Hang on. Let me have a drink. Never mind. I don't have a drink. I'll have a drink between episodes. Yeah, I'm bulk recording. So what? Sue me. By the way, if you'd like to hang out um, in chat while I bulk record episodes, link to my Patreon. Is in the description. The four dollar a month tier entitles you to come and watch me record my YouTube content live. It's a good time. It's a good time. Who that? I know, I know. I'll take you to the ruins. So please stay in the back. We could get in trouble if anyone sees you. All right. Well, someone just saw you, so you're already in trouble. Wah, wah. She's about as subtle as a brick, isn't she? Lily. Let me out this bag, yo. Blummin' heck. Look how sunny it is. Look at this bridge. I love bridges, me. Oh, no. I don't like them, though. Oh, no. I'm being attacked. Oi, you. Useless. Come and help me. Duck and cover. <laughs> I love his blank expression. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh... 
Let's go with, who are you? Never mind me. You have to help me, please. Save Lily. I don't like this. This is 3 on 1, this is uncalled for. This is like that meme with the girl and the five guys. Don't spill or attacking it. But I'm not a trainer, I can't. Oh god, I've got to deal with Spearow with him. Please, please save Nebby. I'll heal your Pokemon for you, so... I've got to deal with Spearow with Rowlet. That's, that was a bad choice. <laughs> Mistakes were already made. Spearow to the face. Yeah, this isn't... This isn't a great matchup for me. Oh, it's level 4 as well. Heck. Use the lay. That's good in one way because it's not doing damage, but it's bad because now every pack's going to do even more. Right, come on, Raul, you got this. Use the lay again. Again, it's not doing damage yet, but it is a bit concerning. It's now going to do double damage from every pack, which was already going to do quite a bit because it's super effective and stab. Pursuit? Okay, I'll take a pursuit. Nice! Is it programmed not to use Peck on, on me or something? Or did I just get lucky? I don't know. Jim Duggan, level 7. Love to see it. You, you managed to chase off one of the Spearow, but oh, there are still more! P -p please, please, help Nebby if you can, but be careful! It looks like that attack may have damaged the plank bridge too. Heck. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble, jelly on a plate. I'm here, Nebby. How's there still three? Oh, blooming heck, I don't like this. I don't like this. Hey, who are you? Get off me. Get off me. You have to buy me dinner first. Get me out of here. I'm a, I'm a celebrity. <laughs> Tapu Koko just murdered three Spearow. <laughs> well then. That's the one does. Blooming heck, that's Tapu Koko. Can't believe me eyes. You, you're useless. I'll, I'm going with your new friend here. I'm not staying with you. Oh, oh, thank goodness. You tried using your power again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby. You know what happened last time you used it? You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't want to see you like that again. No, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, Nebby. I know you were trying to save me that time. And I couldn't even help you in return. <laughs> yeah, you're blooming useless, you love. What? What was that? I said... Yeah, I'm just going to say it again. You're blooming useless, you love. Hey, blooming it, what's this here on the floor? Yeah, what'd you make of that? A sparkling stone? <laughs> oh, I've kept the accent for her, sorry. A sparkling stone? Uh, it feels almost warm somehow. Please, forgive me. I'm so grateful to you for helping us out of that dangerous spot. Who are you? I already asked you this, you donkey. Uh, I'm, I'm Lily. And I suppose this stone must belong to you. Must it? You just find a stone on the floor and you're like, yeah, yeah that's probably yours, right? <laughs> Please, don't tell anyone about this, about seeing Nebby. It's it's a secret, okay? Come on, into the bag, Nebby. You've got to be joking me. I don't like it in there. It's dark. I'm cramped. Sick of this. Um, I'm worried we might get attacked again by some wild Pokemon or, or something. I know it's too much for me to ask it, but do you think you could see us back to town? Uh, okay. Wow, making me walk those five steps really added to the gameplay experience. Thanks, game. Thanks, Pokemon. Uh, 
Sorry, Beza. You already met Lily, huh? She's my assistant, yeah. That's what you call it, is it? You dirty man. Lily, I thought you were with the Kahuna. Kahuna Holler? What a wonderful phrase. Um, he said here yeah, he had something to attend to, so he left town on his own. I was just um, taking a little stroll up my hollow trail while I waited for him to return. And that's how you met our new neighbour, Beza, huh? He just got to Alola yesterday. Help him find his way around, yeah? So, you're also one of the professor's acquaintances. It's nice to meet you. I mean, we already met, but sure. Kahuna's back. Kahuna Hala has returned. What a wonderful phrase. Our guardian's chosen one is back. Only one of the strongest Pokemon users in all Al Alola, yeah. Did they make this bigger fuss every time he comes back? Like, if he nips if he nips out of town to go to, like, Tesco and comes back and they're all like, Oh my god, he's come back! He's bought a baguette and some butter! Oh my god. <laughs> like, it's quite the big fuss to make over someone just, like, returning to town. I bet he pays them. I bet he pays them to be, like, a fan club. Like, a secret arrangement. Make himself feel important. <laughs> Have I missed something?! There you are, Kahuna Hala, dude. Was there some kind of trouble, man? <laughs> I just got caught up in the middle of some brawling rock rough, that's all. Sorry, Lily. What were you saying before? For some reason, I thought I saw Tapu Coco flying around. Uh, um, yes, Kahuna Hala. Nebby got attacked by some Spearow on the Plank Bridge. I thought Nebby was supposed to be a secret. He's right there. He's not in his bag and you're talking about him to everyone in front of everyone in the town. Any base are here help protect it. But the bridge collapsed and I thought both of them might fall to the bottom of the ravine. And that was when the island's guardian deity swooped in to save them. It's a good job really, isn't it? Move to Alola and like the next day I just die. My mum would have been quite upset. <laughs> Woo! That's something you don't hear every day, dude. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! Ah, you must be related to uh, Jim Duggan, to Rowlet. Although it is said to protect us, ah, Tapu Koko is a rather fickle creature. Yet our guardian was moved to save you. Kukui, my boy! I think we have cause to celebrate! Looks like we have a brave and kind new Pokemon trainer in our midst! Oh my god, if all the other voices weren't killing my voice, that one is. <clears throat> but I'm glad to meet you, child! I am Hala, the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island! Welcome to Alola! Young Kukui has told me of your coming! Phrasing. But I'm glad we got the chance to meet today! Blooming it! Are we all just ignoring the fact that I'm here? Or is, is it just not really that big a secret, Lark? Oh, when did you get out again? You were talking about him in front of everyone. Like, seriously. I know that Kahuna Holler and the Professor will keep you safe from any harm, but you should still stay in the bag and out of sight. It's safer that way. That way, I can just talk about you and tell everyone you exist instead of you showing everyone. Because I am a great secret keeper. Maybe, well... It seems to have taken a liking to you. I, I have read that Pokemon like it when you pet them. I'll take care of them, you know? I have not petted Nebby. That's also taken care of them, though. All right, here's a lovely gift for me to help today, make today special, Ibeza. Oh, okay. Fair enough. The Pokedex is a real high-tech kind of tool, yeah? That can automatically record facts about any Pokemon that you meet. Your new partner, Rowland, is already registered. Oh yeah, so check it out. Thanks. And this is a trainer passport that I had put together for you. Well, you got to meet the Kahuna at last. Ready to head home now, Ibeza? Do I get a choice? Now that you met Tapu Koko, I can't wait to see how far you can go as a Pokemon trainer. I guess I just see myself out. Oh yeah, Ibeza! Hold up a sec, man. What is it, how? Did you forget something, you absolute wally? You're seriously asking me that? Who's the one here who forgot to tell anyone before wandering off for a little stroll and a sing without a word, huh? Is he just... Like, what's the deal? Has Harley got, like, dementia or something and he can't, like be trusted to leave town on his own, can't go shopping on his own. Like, why is everyone making such a big deal over him leaving town and coming back? Hmm, little Brazer. Would you be so kind as to give me a look at that sparkling stone you have there? How do you speak in red? Like, what was different about him saying sparkling stone then that it came up red? 
Like, if you want to shout, you speak in all caps. Like, you type it in all caps. But what does red? <laughs> How do you speak in red? Could it be? Tutu! Isn't that... You were... Wait. You were rescued by Tapu Koko at the bridge. Isn't that what I heard, Ibeza? You didn't hear it. It was literally said to you. <laughs> so, we were even deigned to give you a stone. Perhaps you are here in Alola, Ibeza, because this is where you are meant to be. Allow me to borrow this stone for now. I shall sell it on eBay and give you back a pebble in exchange tomorrow. Fret not, I'll return it to you tomorrow evening. You can trust me, you can trust all strangers. You have the makings of a brilliant trainer. I can see that light within you now, too. You must do the honor of join do us the honor of joining us in our festival tomorrow. First I'll make sure you get back home safe today though, Ibeza dude. Lily, you two should come with us too, yeah. Wouldn't want you wouldn't want to go losing you twice in one day. You are that precious Pokemon of yours. Yes, and I will keep an eye on. <laughs> hey, look at me, I'm wondering about. You can't keep an eye on nothing, you love. Oh, you? Would you not try to escape the very moment that you were told not to wander off? Yeah, they're all laughing at you now, love. And we get teleported home. Very nice. Um, I didn't give you a voice, did I? Welcome back, Ibiza. So, what did you think of Kahuna Hala? It's a wonderful phrase, that's what I think. Oh, and look who you've got with you. Oh, oh no, it's Cole. Why is it Cole now? Duggan's forgotten his, his gimmick in his old age. It came running out to help you? What a sweet little thing. That's right. Ah, oh, stealing your catchphrase, me elf. Um, and it saved you, that's amazing. It must have been fate that you met. The two of you look great together. I feel happier just looking at the pair of you. Oh, hello. Listen, you. I'm the Pokemon of the house. You can fall in line, sunshine. Go! <laughs> bing, 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 bong, bing. Very nice. The next day, one day later. Boom, boom. What a stunning sunset. Alright, today's the day that I finally unpack. Wouldn't it be sunrise? Because it's a day. Was that the doorbell? We'll see who it is, Ibeza. When did your last slave die off? Oh, just let yourself in, my dude. Hey there, Ibeza. It's about time we set out for the festival, yeah. Can we talk about the fact that you just walked into my house? <laughs> But first, I got something to teach you, yeah. Now that you're a real Pokemon trainer. It's the most basic of all the basics. Come on, to Route 1. Not to Route 1, dude. Have fun at the festival, sweetie. I'm sure that you'll have a good time with your new Pokemon, pal. Me and Meowth will be sure to unpack every last box here. You'll see. I ain't doing nothing. You can do it all. My voice is shot from all these voices I've been doing. <clears throat> Meowth. I ain't doing nothing. There we go. You can do it all. Hey, Beza, dude. Hurry it up, cousin. Pretend you're a Pokemon and use your agility. Everyone's so one-dimensional in this world. <laughs> like, he's just obsessed with his moves. How is just happy all the time. Like, it's just so 1D, isn't it? Not one direction. One dimensional. <laughs> yeah, over here, dude. Oh, good. I couldn't see you. I couldn't see you then, so thanks for helping me out. So, you know the wild Pokemon will sometimes jump out at you in tall grass, yeah? Yes, it's happened to me already. Now that you've got Rowlet there, you can not only fight wild Pokemon, yeah? You can also try to catch him. Woo! Woo! I should say. I'm going to show you how to catch a wild Pokemon, alright? Keep your eyes on the prize, my dude. You know it's good advice because it rhymes. A Grubbin! Hello. Sent out Rockruff. Oh, X. Unlucky, Grubbin. Gosh. Ah, oh, how convenient. Went right into red. 
You gotta po weaken a Pokemon up a bit before you try lobbing a Pokeball at it, my dude. That's a potion, not a Pokeball. That's a Pokeball. I've got 50 of them because I'm mega rich. It's a great jingle on this game. The catching a Pokemon jingle is amazing. Alright, got myself a Grubbin, dude. Wild Pokemon do sometimes attack people if they get close, but catch them and they'll join your team and be a great help to you, yeah. And if your Pokemon get all token out, you can always head home and rest up a bit, yeah? Here's some Pokeballs and potions to get you started out, my dude. <clears throat> My voice is really struggling. <laughs> Ten Pokeballs, nice. Five potions, very nice. Why don't you have a little adventure of your own on the way to Iki Town, yeah? Take good care of your base, Rowlet. <laughs> Alright. So, first encounter on Route 1 is a guaranteed catch, I believe. I think it's scripted to always be the same. Always be the same Pokemon, always be a guaranteed catch, etc. So I'm not gonna bother weakening this, I'm just gonna throw a ball. And we'll add Grubbin to the team. Will I add it to the team? Not actually sure what my team is gonna be yet. I know I want a fighting type. Oh, the Rock or a Steel type. Well, probably a fighting type. Wednesday so we add it to the Pokedex. If you find its nest, you shouldn't stick your hand inside. You'll get bitten by an irritated Grubbin. Um It's a boy bug. It's a boy grubbin. It's a bitey boy. Oh, it's a bitey boy. Okay. In that case, I shall call you Mike Tyson. Because <laughs> he was a bitey boy as well. There we go. Mike Tyson the Grubbin. My nickname game is Strong. Okay. Right, we're gonna get, we're gonna stop here. I just thought I'd get that encounter first, seeing as it's kind of part of the tutorial. Um, so, two Pokemon acquired in today's episode. Not a bad start. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Don't forget, next episode is Sunday. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it. Hit that bell so you don't miss any uploads. Um, there are gonna be uploads between now and Sunday, just not of this particular series. Um, don't forget to share with your friends if they enjoy Pokemon content. They are more than welcome here. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza, you've been amazing, and I'll see you next time.